do me a favor hit that subscribe button and hit the bell notification so you don't miss out on any great videos hello everyone and welcome to another episode of for the record my name is don uh today's album i want to talk about which has been highly anticipated we've been waiting on this anybody in the manson family knows that you know this has been coming for a long time so today's album we're going to be reviewing and showing you guys is Merle manson portrait of american family this is the unofficial copy um it's super expensive to get an original and even on eBay right now, people are charging a hundred bucks or more for these fucking copies. I seen somebody say they got one for like 70 bucks the other day on one of the Manson pages. And I'm sorry, but 70 bucks is way too much for something like this. First of all, it's a bootleg. Second of all, it's not an original, okay? And they made hundreds and probably thousands of copies. So they're gonna keep coming out and people are gonna keep getting them. They're gonna keep coming out. So. If you want a copy, go to RollingRex.com and wait till Friday when they drop. And it's usually if you're anywhere like where I am in uh, New Hampshire, it'd be like 3 p.m. If you're in California, it'd be like noon. Or if you're up in Canada, it'd be 3 p.m. So they tried to recreate the original stampers, which I'll tell you they did a good job. But I'm going to compare them here really soon and I will show you the difference between them. So one side has the track listings and then the other side has, says you cannot sedate all the things you hate. And it actually has the Simply Vinyl uh, number right there from the actual Simply Vinyl one, which I'm kind of surprised that they didn't just copy and paste like they have done on other albums. Like um, if you look at Smells Like Children, all they did was copy and paste. But I don't think this is done by the same people. I think this is done by somebody else because this isn't glossy. This is more like um, a matte finish on it. If you look at the cover here. So they did a good job on the cover. It's a little pixelated. It's not perfect, but I don't expect perfect. I want, I wanted this album on vinyl so I can listen to it on my turntable and be happy that I have it finally on vinyl. I have a couple different copies of the CD. Um, and even right here, um, you can just tell that it's not an exact replica of the Simply Vinyl one. Um, they did a good job trying to replicate it, but there are certain indicators um, that if you know what the original looks like, you know what markers to look for, and you know certain things that you would notice. So like another one thing up in here where it says nothing, it would also have the inner scope. Uh, logo and it would have the simply vinyl um number like it does right here on the side and like it did on the vinyl it would have it right there right next to the barcode and i believe the barcode is actually bigger that's a thinner barcode than the original um from the simply vinyl version but it is on green vinyl um if anybody knows the gatefold of american uh yeah of Antichrist Superstar, uh, the gatefold one, the one where I got like a red record and a black record in it. Um, that one, I believe this is made by the same people and it's also made by the same people that did the gatefold of Hollywood with the green records. It's like the exact same kind of vinyl that they used on both of those. So this is the insert and the original did come with an insert. The original was also a gatefold. This one is not a gatefold, which, you know, you gotta take what you can get because honestly I've been wanting this album forever on vinyl and I would love to own an original someday which would be great but I just don't see it happening so but I think I own more Manson than anything else and they did put it on two two vinyls or two records um, the original was on two and then the remake for the, um, the Hot Topic release that was green. Um, the original was on black vinyl, which was the Simply Vinyl. Uh, Simply Vinyl never did any colored vinyl for Manson, I know that. But the original of uh, Mechanical Animals, not the Simply Vinyl, but the original one, that was white and blue. That was pretty much the only colored vinyl that he actually had pressed other than the green 
Hot Topic one and the red Antichrist Superstar from Hot Topic, which I would love to own those too, even if I could find a copy of those for a decent price. But I paid $49.99 plus shipping for this, so that was like five bucks. So I paid like 55 bucks for this. I'm extremely happy with this. I did take the time to listen to it the first day I listened to it. I was really unsure whether it was distorted or not. Um, you know, I was thinking maybe it was my setup. I had to check like my wires and stuff and uh, everything's all set up. I listened to it the next day and I must say that it did sound really good. I did jam out to this. It did make me very happy. Um, anybody that's actually looking to own this record, do not buy it off those scalpers on eBay, please. They are scumbags and they are just going to, you know, do whatever. I mean, I'm sure, I'm not telling you how to spend your money. If you have enough money and you can go buy one of these and you can just dump a hundred bucks like it's nothing and it doesn't matter to you, then go for it instead of waiting for Rolling Rex to get their uh, restocks in. But they will have restocks this Friday of this album. Um, depending where you live, it might be 3 p.m., might be 12 p.m. Um, but definitely check it out. I give them uh, a 9 out of 10 for trying because they actually did do what they could. Um, so, you know that this is one of my favorite albums. So, obviously, this is a 10 out of 10 for me. This is one of my favorite Manson albums. So, here I'm going to take out the second one. Put that down for a second. And then... I don't know if you guys have ever watched my other Manson videos, but this is uh, the second disc to Portrait of American Family, but this is the Simply Vinyl version. I actually found this on eBay out in the wild. So I'm going to show you the original stamper, and I'm going to show you what an original looks like. This is 180 gram. That's an original stamper. And then you see how this one has the nothing... And then it also has the inner scope. And you can see just little touches on that. And then, hold on a second. I'm going to show you this one. And then you see how there is no inner scope on that one. And then to see how that is written out and stuff. It's not exactly the same. Um, you know, the font's not as big as on this one. Here, I'm going to see if I can just show you both side by side trying to get them without fucking them up but side by side they are different slightly but they tried you know what I'm saying like they really did try um even like this um this simply vinyl thing over there you know like I don't know what their whole point on that was they could have just given it some other random number or whatever it would have been fine and then, like, even on this, when you look and you see the Simply Vinyl thing, there's also, like, a little bit more than just the number there. Uh, it says B-I-E-M-M-C-P-S, and then it says LC-06406. And this one's actually color. This one's, like, black and white almost, or black and gray. It's, like, got a different color to it. This one's 180 gram. This one sounds amazing. I wish I could find the first disc out in the wild like I found this one. Um, maybe one of these days I'll actually find, uh, you know, an original copy. I did see, if any of you guys are in the Manson uh, family Facebook group thing there, um, it did say that he was um, working on making a box set of his Interscope uh, albums that he made. So hopefully, if he does do that box set, that would be really cool. And sorry, I'm not trying to, like, tilt my head over or anything like that. I'm just trying to pick this up off the ground. I just set it somewhere. So, you know, i got to pick all this stuff up. I don't like leaving it laying around uh, to take care of my stuff, especially my man set. I actually got a really uh, cool Manson album coming through really soon. I want you guys to stay tuned and uh, check out in the future here. It should be maybe within the next month I'll have the video up. Um, but for now, I just wanted to show you guys what an unofficial copy of Portrait of American Family actually looks like. 
Um, but, you know, yeah, is it good? Is it worth buying? Absolutely. I believe it is worth buying. I know some people are going to be like, oh, it's a bootleg. It's just an expensive CD, whatever, blah, 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 blah. Whatever, okay? That's your opinion. This is my opinion. My channel, my opinion. I'm going to give it to you, okay? So, I just want to let you all know that this is definitely worth buying. Um, definitely check out Rowan Rex page. You actually have some really good albums uh, right now. They got some new tool in. They got some uh, Stained, Break the Cycle, um, and they got some Limp Bizkit in too. I think the Chocolate Starfish one, I think that's another great album to get. But anyways, hope you all have a great day. Hope you all stay safe. Um, yeah, I just love talking to all of you guys. You guys are awesome. And uh, make sure to like and subscribe. It definitely helps out my video, even the like. It helps out my video tremendous. So, um, yeah. Make sure to like and subscribe. And hope you all have a great day. Alright, Vinyl Community. Keep spinning those records. Peace.